Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Dan aka D-Boy Plays and we're about to finish our season in the Championship with West Brom. Overall it's gone pretty well. We had a fantastic run in the FA Cup. We're sitting in second. We're on, you know, pretty good points. We're on 99 points. We've got three games left to go and we are four points behind league leaders Brighton. Is there a chance today that they'll slip up, we'll hit some good form and maybe swap things around? We're basically going to go today until we work out what happens. So, are we going to be second or could we steal first? That may be one or two games, but there's three left, so likelihood is we're going to play all three anyway. Today, we have Blackburn. Shouldn't be too hard. They are in eighth. Who have Brighton got? Brighton are playing Stoke, who are in tenth. Stoke, do us a favour today, please, lads. Get a win. Uh, <laughs> just help us out. We go. They want us to go shoot on sight. We'll give it a go. Look, there's you know we'll just we've just got to see how these things go. We'll like and like I say, we'll play until either we know that we've won or we know that they've won, and we'll see how it is. Not a massive change to the lineup today though. We have got Josh Griffiths in goal, Laborda, O'Shea, and Erstegard as our three centre backs. Furlong on the right, Townsend on the left, Handel and Moat in the middle, Jed. On the right, Dean Garner on the left as our wingers, and then DK up front as our lone striker. Let's jump into this. Yeah, overall, I would say it's been a very good campaign compared to how we were in our first season. First season, we were we just started dropping off, and then we obviously we fell into the playoffs. Luckily, we're guaranteed promotion, so ultimately we are just trying to see will we win the league today that's all we're trying to see but we're definitely going up to the prem we've actually had our our, uh, our figures through for um our transfer budget and wage budget and whatnot we've got just under 40 million to spend on players so hopefully we can uh, recruit well for the uh one nil up good goal from wallace <laughs> uh hopefully we can recruit well we'll look at the, ma the main positions i'm looking for i think goalkeeper all our goalkeepers are pretty much championship quality Centre back, again, they're all pretty much centre, you know, all the all uh, championship quality, apart from Erstegard. Erstegard is the only one that has potential to be prem. All the rest are, like I say, championship. Centre mid as well. Couldn't hurt to get someone to improve that. We're going to be losing uh, Moat at the end of the season as well. So just to bolster numbers, uh, maybe right wing or left wing. One of the wingers because we've got three players that can kind of rotate amongst them. But it'd be nice to bring someone in to improve. And then probably right back as well, right wing back. Um, yeah, just trying to just trying to find ways to just improve the overall team. Don't want to go too crazy. Maybe four or five signings, but just something that's going to mean that we'll stand a chance in the prem. And then moving forward, we'll uh, we'll you know maybe the season afterwards we'll start planning the. Uh, the other areas to improve anyway though into this game against Blackburn we're 1-0 up in the first 10 minutes which is nice although they've just played a ball long for Dolan and the keeper is so far up good clearance from Laborda well done from him and Wallace is charging forward now will he find a teammate goes for shot that is that is wayward um yeah but it, you know what it's been a really good campaign so far we've had a fantastic run in the leagues a couple, a couple of points dropped unnecessarily I would say it was a shame that at some point we swapped positions with Brighton I feel like if we you know there were a couple of draws in there that you know obviously if we'd scored in them would have helped us out a lot but alas these are how the things go um, and an amazing run in the FA Cup getting all the way to the semi-final unfortunately getting knocked out by Wolves but beating Man City along the way awesome like never would have thought we would have beaten Man City um one nil up at half time which is nice nothing particularly worth changing just if there was anyone no do you know what everyone's playing all right I'm, i want to see dk perform a little bit better but you know we can only hope how are brighton getting on brighton are two nil up at stoke fine let's set this actually to the league table um and also yeah, we're going to do the work the ball into the box. So we're still only four points by them. Two teams in the hundreds. That's that's mad. That's really impressive. Um, can Carl or Townsend do a job? 
they may have to. Uh, DK, yeah, you're not playing particularly great. So we're going to bring on Tavares. Um, yeah, the, the ongoing curse of whoever you start up front doesn't seem to score. And the sub is likely to, or more likely to. I always feel like every, whoever I bring on as a sub is likely to score, but who knows. Um, we'll take off Handel. We'll bring on Yakushlu. And I think I may also give uh, Carlin some minutes. So let's bring him on for Dean Garner. Not that Dean Garner's played bad, but just to sort of rest some legs. We've got a free kick just outside the box. And who is that standing over it? Is that Moat, possibly? It is Moat. A big open goal. Surely. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. But yeah. Impressive campaign so far, I would say so. It's been it's been it's it's been a fantastic effort compared to last season. Last season just form dipping off. We made the improvements this season in the areas that desperately needed it, and they look like the boys have done well. Wallace straight at the keeper. It's so much time. Vale plays it back to Ghent. Ghent into the middle. Can't find a teammate, and now Laborde is on the ball. He plays it into loads of space for Carl and Grant. Chips it over the keeper and hits the post. Wow, we are struggling to finish out there. We're getting plenty of opportunities, but that's uh, that should have been a uh, that should have been an easy goal. Only a few minutes left now. Moat over over the corner plays it in. Can't find a teammate. Cleared to Grant. He's tackled by Hedges, but Grant manages to, manages to win the ball. Out. Plays it back to Yakushlu. He plays it in the middle. Finds Tavares. What did I say? You bring on the striker. They'll score a goal. They can't score when they start, but when you bring them off the bench, they play really well. And I don't know if that's just because tactically we make a few changes during the game that we need to start with. You know, things like work the ball into the box. Um, or, you know, it's just some weird, weird AI thing Football Manager have decided to put in. I don't, I don't care who scores the goals, as long as we're scoring them though. 2-0 up, and I think that is going to be it. There we go, 2-0 against Blackburn. Not too shabby, Alonso. Amazing uh, XG in that game as well. Defensive work was fantastic. Seems appears unsure. I mean, well, that's my fault. I've definitely said something wrong possibly there. Um, Yeah, Brighton 3-1. Pretty much the next game will decide it. If Brighton lose whoever they have a game against and we're, we beat Fulham... That pretty much just puts us neck and neck for first place. Um, nobody in the recruitment place so far. We'll keep that restarted. Yeah, we've, we've, we've picked some scouting areas that we want to improve on. Um, and yeah, if we have a little look actually over here. Just under 40 million to spend. Nice big wage budget as well. These are just uh, some backroom staff members we're trying to improve areas in and then this is one of our youth lads anyway next game we are up against where am i going <laughs> next game we're up against fulham so i will see you there okay here we go we're jumping into our second fixture of the day we have got fulham brighton have got birmingham birmingham if there was ever a time you could do me a favor now would be it and i would greatly appreciate it uh we're giving carl the start yeah i'm not yeah we're removing that um, we're not going cautious either. Um, we're going to do that work the ball into the box because it has helped us out when we've added it in games. Not a massive change, like I say, to the squad. We're going to play Carl. Uh, I think Reese comes in. We've also actually managed to secure him as a transfer for next season. He's going to be coming in for five mil, which is pretty good, pretty affordable for an, for an English centre back who's who is prem quality. Uh, Doyle also steps into the team as well in centre mid. Let's dive into it. Can we do well against Fulham? It is Fulham. They are a good team. They've got some good players. <sighs> Here we go. Re really, basically, if Birmingham win, then we've got a chance. If Birmingham hold them out for a draw, and but we need to win regardless. If, uh, if Birmingham hold them out for a draw, if we got three points, then we'd go up to 105. And they'd be on 107, so it would go into the last game. If we win and they lose, it goes into the last game. We we need to win. If we don't win, they've won the league. 
Uh, Weissman moving into our box, finds a finds Carlos Vinicius and Fulham are 1-0 up in the first seven minutes. I don't know if it's going to happen, boys. We're going to immediately drop to a balanced approach and hopefully we can just find a little bit of possession, just control the ball a bit. Bakayoko plays it back to Leno. He's very far off his line. Diop, Patamo to Carlos Vinicius, finds Bakayoko. Kalidio plays it out to Reed on the right. Fulham are just walking around us. Erstegaard gets it in the middle. And we fouled fin Carlos Vinicius in the box and they've got a penalty. This is a horror start, lads. We're 2 0. We're going to be 2 0 down in the first 10 minutes. Jesus Christ. We're going, to, we're going to take it back one more notch. We're going to go cautious. This is an awful start. Can't believe this is happening. At this point, it doesn't matter what happens in the Brighton game. Wow, Andreas plays it to Adarabayo on the edge of the box. He finds Weissman with the shot, hits the crossbar, and Laborda kicks it out for a corner. This is an absolutely horrendous start. Yeah, this is this is a terrible, terrible way to start the game. Cleared as far as Wallace. Oh, okay. Another highlight going to Fulham. Andreas plays it into the box and Bakayoko was 3-0 up in 20 minutes. Well, we might as well just go attacking. There's literally no point in not. You know, there's literally no point in not. We'll go more direct, be more expressive. I mean, yeah, well done, well done, Brighton. You've won the league. I cannot see us pulling this back. Carl decided not to run onto that ball. The ball is back with Lenny. He goes to Diop in the middle to Patino. End of that highlight. Laborda on the ball for West Brom. Plays it to Doyle. He launches it to the left. Finds Dean Garner. Can he get his cross in? He can. He finds Wallace. And that is, that is a goal back in the 20th minute. Do I see a comeback happening? Not really. But it would be nice. 3-1 things currently stand. And Brighton have scored. So it looks like Brighton are going to secure <laughs> the title. Unless we can turn things around in the last few moments. Yeah, team looking anxious. People not playing particularly well. Adarabayo, free kick. Goes to Bakayoko. Plays it to Patino, tries to find a way through, but Carl heads it to Griffiths. He rolls it out to Oxford. And Oxford plays it to Erstegaard. Moving forward now, Erstegaard to Oxford. Wide to Laborda. Doyle now, forward to Wallace. He switches play, finds Dean Garner, but he's headed into no man's land. Adarabayo coming forward, finds Reed. He kicks it long. Oxford gets it to Doyle though. Doyle moving forward. He finds Dean Garner on the left this time. He's tackled by Reed and Bakayoko now on the ball. Patino in the middle. Moving forward. Finds that space in between our defenders to Carlos Vinicius. He kicks it over the bar. Well, since we've gone attacking, we've played slightly better. I thought that was going to be four then. Uh, we've played slightly better since going attacking, but I can't, I can't see the comeback happening. They are absolutely destroying us. Yeah, you're going to have to be better in front of goal. And again, we're gonna we're gonna take off DK. We're gonna bring on Tavares, and Darnell's having a bad game. Anyone that can play right wing back? I mean, Dara, do you fancy a game there? And Erstegaard, actually, no. We're gonna swap you two round. Laborda, can you play right wing back? Reese, can you play right wing back? No. Well, Laborda's the one that's playing. Uh, no, it's Erstegaard, the one that's not playing very well. We'll take off Erstegaard for Townsend. We did this last game and just see if those those changes can help us out. Um, really need TGH on the bench, actually. He's definitely a, a good option to bring on. Demand more and see if this encourages them. Okay, well, they've, they've chippered up a little bit, but I can't see it happening. Birmingham, fancy doing us any last-minute favours just to sort of do anything highlights to Fulham Andreas Pereira standing over it plays it into the box cleared only as far as Pereira though makes it round Dean Garner goes for goal hits the side net in we'll drop another demand more on them Handel's not having a great game so we're going to take off Handel he's looking nervous we'll bring on Yukushlu as well Yukushlu's a rock in the middle what changes you make? We've pretty much got Moat and, and 
and Carlin Grant, and I don't really want to bring either of those on. Maybe for Tommy, I'll do that, just because Tommy's on a book him. Don't really want to get him sent off in his last fixture. Throwing to West Brom, though. Townsend gets it to Moat. Back to Townsend. Finds Wallace on the edge of the box. He's got a little bit of room. Plays it to Yakushlu and he blasts it wide. What a shame. What a shame to throw it away like this against, uh, against a team like Fulham. But... I mean, they went 3-0 they went up, up in the first 18 minutes. And there it is. 3-1 to Fulham. What a rubbish way to end things. Because uh, I believe, and we'll get a little notification in a second, I would imagine. But I think, yeah, absolutely. Brighton have won the league. Damn. Would have thought we would put up a bit more of a fight and would have maybe tried. Maybe tried to... Uh, to win things but there it is Brighton win the championship all right well I'm gonna play that last game offline then I imagine uh, save you guys having to sit through a moot game it is completely pointless at, at this at this point we are playing Bristol City they're relegated we're promoted uh, no point doing that we will also do our transfer window uh, offline as well just to kind of, just to get it done so we can get things set up I'll give you a synopsis obviously uh, once we've kind of got to the end of pre-season uh, and I guess we've just got to get ourselves ready for our first league in our first season I should say in the Premier League in two years or is it two is it three it may be three years actually club information uh, it would this will be yeah it would have been three years since we were last in there so that's where i'm going to see you next uh as always thank you very much for watching appreciate the support uh my name's been dan aka d boy plays if you want to subscribe uh like the video and all those various things that would be absolutely amazing otherwise i will see you in the premier league laters